What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, RoboPanda15, aka T Lickin here, bringing you the revival of the Division Gear Check series. This time, weekly. I decided daily was gonna get super boring, it was gonna be super stale, because I wasn't picking up new gear every day that I could really show off and everything. So I decided to make it a weekly series, and with the new updates, uh, it will be much better as a series. So, loadout we're looking at here, uh, we're gonna go straight on into the character sheet. My farms is sitting at 2,229. Stamina at 2,234. And I got electronics at 1,681. So I kind of swip swap my build over to a firearms stamina build with a little bit of investment into electronics. Uh, weapon damage, none of that really matters. Combat, uh, this is all the damage I do to elites and all that. I get 6% health on kill because of my AK that I'm carrying. Skill power is pretty nice with a 5% skill haste to help with the cooldown. The armor's maxed out. I think it's a little bit over max. I can't. I haven't calculated it directly, but that's kind of what it is. My health regeneration is nice. Protection from elites, really, really nice. Blind death resistance, disorient, disrupt. Uh, Everything else really nice. Scavenging at 136%, even though scavenging's fucking stupid in this game. I get a uh, credit boost and a dark zone fun boost, of course, from uh, having my base of operations completely unlocked. But going into the gear here, changed a lot. We're running a Navy MP5N with a 182 gear score with stable, skilled, and deadly. I don't have skilled unlocked, but deadly, luckily, is in my free talent slot, so I don't need the insane amount of firearms or any of that to up to get it onto my character. And stable is really nice on this MP5. Also, that's my PvP gun. It's rocking 8,236 damage. And because it's not a vector, I was actually able to get away with running weapon damage and magazine styles instead of rate of fire. And I'm running a T2 micro dot for 20% headshot damage and 19% accuracy. Get that accuracy up even more. Uh, angle grip with more stability and accuracy. And then I got a crit chance and stability muzzle break on here for to round it all out and get the stats that you see on the screen with a 25.5 critical hit chance on. And then you add on the 7.5 I get from the muzzle break. And uh, critical hit damage is increased. Everything's increased very, very nicely. Next up, we got the Black Market AK-74. Uh, this one I literally just crafted like 20 minutes ago. It's got 9.7k damage, 60 round mag with the mag setup I got on it. And this is my PvP or PVE gun. The MP5 is my PvP gun. It's got Unforgiving, which I haven't unlocked. <clears throat> if I could roll a second gear mod slot on something, I definitely would, but I can't on my vest for some reason. Because I even went up and tried it, I it won't let me get another gear mod slot, unfortunately. I wish I could, though. But yes, the AK is my PvP weapon because it's got sustained, where killing a target increases my health by 6% and adept, which I wish I could swap that out for uh, cool-headed or... Um, there's another one I'm thinking of. Something that reduces school kill down or s skill cooldown. I can't remember the name of it though. Um, but yeah, sustained on there. Unforgiving when I unlock it will be nice to have for this AK. And then of course I have this SOCOM M1A that I can't wait to get a high-end variant of because I'm definitely gonna be rolling for balanced as much as possible. If I could get a high-end SOCOM M1A with uh, balanced, brutal, and uh, prepared, I'd be fucking golden. Balanced on DMRs, I call them DMRs all the time, is insane. Let me hop on over to the shooting range to show you guys just how insane it is. And I also got some video editing services back on my PC because I was kind of in the itch to do some video editing and uh, I got those back. So balanced on marksman rifles is insane because of how fast they zero back in already and to top that off when you shoulder it you reach max, max accuracy much faster and this is what it means by much faster. That thing is barely moving 
it's not actually it's not even moving because I can't even shoot fast enough to make it blossom more than that. I do about 89k to the head and on a crit. Let's see if I can get one in four rounds here. Not able to get one. Oh, but I do have one is done. I completely forgot about that. So wait for it to pop back up. On a crit, I will do. I do 98 on some hits. No, oh, it's not going to give me a crit. Wow. I think that's because I don't have any crit hit mods on this. Do I? I don't. Weapon damage, accuracy... So if I swap that out for this... Yeah, 144k crit hit chance. And of course that pops a lot more when you are using pulse on uh, actual enemies. Yeah, 214k, you can see it there. It actually dies really quickly. But yeah, that's the uh, SOCOM M1A's damage profile that does. The MP5 that I have does about 1401 to the head with a 26k crit hit chance, or crit hit damage. Very, very nice weapon. And of course the AK, my power hitter, will do, I think, yeah, 19, just under 20k. And when I pulse, I'll do about 45k and directly at 20k. So it is a very, these are very, very nice guns that I have. Of course, I'm going to upgrade all of them when I get new gear. Armor setup I'm running, I'm running a tactical vest with Vigorous, because Vigorous is so nice to run with booster shot. Uh, and it has a health boost attribute, armor boost to get up to 1.3k armor. 22% uh, increased kill XP, which helps out for the Dark Zone. I'm grinding towards the Valkyrie, or Valkyria, and then a mod slot with a stamina mod that has skill haste on it. Uh, mask that I'm running is a Spec Ops mask with Enduring, which really helps out in a pinch because you'll constantly heal to fill up that last health segment, and that can really be the difference between a med kit healing you to three bar, to healing you to two and a half versus just two and it's got scavenging seeker mine and two mod slots on it because masks always come with at least one so this one has two um with the firearms and a stamina mod with another skill haste and a firearms mod with uh 1223 skill power to up my skill power a little bit more backpack i have a tactician's authority pack here um but it doesn't really do much for now. I don't like the roll on it, so that's actually for my electronics build character that I will be grinding up later. But my operator pack that I'm running is very nice. Uh, healing is also applied to skill objects, so when I set my... Um, and this is more for PvE. When I set my ammo bag down, or I set my turret down next to me, and I pop that... Uh, well, it's, it works really well with the support station, because the support station heals you anyway. So as you're being healed by the support station, the support station is also healing itself in a way. So that's a really good synergy with the support station, which I do use a lot in PvE. Uh, with an electronics mod that gives me more health and plus 120 electronics. 44% 44 am 44 ammo capacity on that bag, very nice. This one, I need to get more of the Tactician's Authority stuff, so that way so I can get that skill haste, which will be nice. But I'm actually going more for the... Do I have any of it? I don't think I do. I think it's in the stash, or I deleted it on accident. But the battle gear is what I'm going for. They nerfed it, however, so it's not as effective. Um, but this is the set I'm mostly going to primarily run, is the Nomad set. The gloves I have here give me plus 1,589 marksman rifle damage, give me 10% damage to elites, 36% critical hit damage with 376 armor, and it's a firearms boost. 
The knee pads are nice as well with 891 armor, 487 in stamina. Um, protection from elites, you also get blind, disrupt, and disorient resistance. So I have both these and it gives me 100% scavenging. Of course, it's not that big of a deal. And my holster did change from the last time I did this video, so I got a nimble holster, which gives me 2% of max health for every one meter run in cover to cover during combat. So I have to be in combat in order to get the benefits from that, but it'll help me edge out when I'm when I'm like at that two bar. I can then edge out to get three and then get my healing going out of combat, which is a really good strategy to run because it'll help you with what you need to do. Oh, forgot my sidearm. M1911 changed it up since my Damascus finally got nerfed. For some reason it was sitting at uh, 7k damage for a long time. I guess now they just dropped the damage down. I don't know why, but it seriously was at 7k damage for the longest time. Uh, it's got expert harmful on it. I picked this up in the dark zone and I got an extended magazine mod on there to give me 14 rounds of 10.7k damage, which is really nice. I wish I, I had one that had restored on it since sidearms are really good as a last resort. So if you get that final kill, it'll clear any status that you have. But again, restored's not really that useful when you can't shoot your weapon because you're on fire or you're shocked, and that's that's what's kind of stupid about restored. But yeah, expert harmful. So this is basically kind of just an upgraded Damascus with two less rounds, but way more damage. Very very fun setup. Um, I'm actually not doing too hot against rogues anymore. I used to be doing really well, but now I'm not doing very good. Uh, skills that I'm running, of course, I switched out from Scrambler. I've been running Tactical Scanner, and of course, because I have Vigorous, I'm running Booster Shot instead. That's for my PvP setup. Uh, Survivor Link is a must-have. For my PvE setup, I run Ammo Cache and Smart Cover or the Seeker Mine with Gas Charge Talents on the move and I got critical save to give me more damage resistance tech support is really nice and one is none of course and then the perks everyone has those perks but yeah that's the setup for the character it's a very very nice setup of course no character build is complete so I will be upgrading that in the future can't wait to see what I can't wait to see what I get yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below, subscribe for more content, and always leave a comment. I try to read any old comments that I possibly can, and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. As always, Panda, checking out.